You are watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. The Land Transportation Office is set to revamp the process for issuing temporary operators permits to traffic violators. LTO Chief Assistant Secretary Vigor Mendoza II aims to simplify top issuance and align it with existing traffic violation fines. Mendoza plans to address these concerns through discussions with key LTO units and promises swift implementation of necessary changes. These moves come after issues with TOPS were highlighted during a recent budget deliberation. The LTO had transitioned to electronic TOPS earlier this year to enhance digitalization and curb corruption in tracking traffic violations. TOPS remain valid for 72 hours for violators to settle their tickets. A cap of 10 SIMs is set by the Department of Information and Communication Technology or DICT for every subscriber. As is observed, tech scams continue to spread despite the enactment of Republic Act 11934 or the SIM Registration Act. DICT pointed to the buying and selling of pre-registered SIMs nationwide as one of the causes of the continuing surge of scam texts, apart from the lack of limit for SIM registrations. Putting a cap on the registration, according to DICT under Secretary Alexander Ramos, is part of DICT's plan to revise the implementing rules and regulations of the said law. Senator Chis Escudero demanded transparency on how government institutions that get classified in intelligence money spend their funds on Wednesday. This was highlighted by the senator during Tuesday's consideration of the Department of Education's proposed 2024 budget, which totaled 758. 6 billion pesos, including 150 million pesos designated as confidential funds. Escudero stated that government officials seeking CIF for 2024 must show their physical and financial plan on how the funds will be used. Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas have broken their silence on their divorce, claiming that it was a mutual choice. The two also requested that the public respect their family's privacy and refrain from additional speculation about their breakup. After being married for four years, Jonas has reportedly filed for divorce from Turner. In 2019, the couple married twice and have two daughters. That's the latest for this hour. For more updates, follow and subscribe to our social media accounts, Global Daily Mirror on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Leslie Ordinario. Good day.